Hey everyone, this is Dennis Chang here. It's my first video of the new year, so happy new year. I've been extremely, extremely busy for the past few weeks. I've been in the Netherlands, Germany, France, and here I am back in the Netherlands. I've been doing quite a lot um, for DC Music School and other things. And this video today is rather special. A few days ago, I was in Forbach, which is in the Forbach, in this, as they say in French, which is in the east of France, close to the German border. And this is a very special region because it's one of the capitals of Gypsy Jazz. It's the region where uh, Dorado Schmidt comes from. And a lot of great players in that area, uh, Dorado Schmidt, Hono Winterstein, Benji Winterstein, his father Popotz, Toto Haag, Brady Winterstein, Mike Reinhardt, uh, Sanson Schmidt, so many, so many great players. Lulu Reinhardt is also from Forbach. So many, many great players from that region. And for those of you who don't know, <coughs> Dorado Schmidt is one of the main figures um, of Gypsy Jazz. He's one of the earliest, earliest uh, how do I say, contributors to this style of music who made this style popular again. There was a time after Django passed away where interest in Django music, at least within the community, um, kind of went down. There are different reasons for this, cultural reasons. But then around the 70s and then the 80s, there were a, a few players who contributed to the repopularization of this style of music and Dorado Schmidt is one of the major figures. So that's Forbach. I've been in contact with this community for quite a long time, over 10 years. I'm an old man. Yeah, for over 10 years and from the beginning these people have treated me like family. Every time I go there they they do so much for me. They organize parties for me. They Some of them even cancel their own concerts just to hang out with me uh, and um, I'm very very touched by this community and you know this this pandemic this um, Omicron wave is devastating a lot um, in the in the in the musical community people who had a lot of gigs lose all their gigs and there's no government support um, and so it's, it's very, very painful to watch. And I want to talk to you about a friend of mine, Benji Winterstein, who is the nephew of Hono Winterstein. So Benji is a very, very good friend of mine, one of the best rhythm players in this style. And a few months ago, he started recording his own album where he invited a lot of his closest friends. So this project of his has no um, commercial incentive. It's something he's doing for fun as a you know, memory, as a souvenir of something that he did. Um, and there are a lot of the best musicians in this style. Some of them are still a surprise, so I'm not going to announce anything. And he made me listen to the album, and I was very, very touched by the music. It is, in my opinion, one of the best... Uh, it's going to be one of the best albums in the style. And it's a labor of love and it costs a lot of money to make. And there's a fundraiser going on and he's having a little bit of difficulty with it. You know, it's not easy to promote, especially during these difficult times. And as you can see in my, my videos or my Facebook and all that stuff, I don't usually like to promote other people's things, not because I don't want to promote them, because I don't want my social media to be just like an advertisement uh, space for everything. Because then it's just, then my, I feel like my videos or my social media loses its value. So when I endorse something, it's, I do it from the bottom of my heart. This project of Benji is really, really amazing. And the fact that he does so, that he did, so, him and his family, he and his family did so much for me. This is the least that I could do, this video. And um, if you can, please, please, please support his project. It would mean so much to him and to me as well. And if I may dare say, this is the real Gypsy Jazz, you know. Um, and see for yourself. So what we did, this is very, very last minute. So we weren't able to get everyone in the community because of all these um, Omicron complications and whatnot. 
this was organized within the, the past few, with the, within a few hours. We called up as many musicians as we could to make a little concert for you. And I hope you enjoy this music. Once again, please, please support Benji's uh, fundraiser for his album. It's really worth it. The fundraiser page is in French, but you can use Google Chrome or something to have in like an English translation. Again, thank you very much. I'll make more videos as soon as possible to talk to you about my, uh, my, my adventures in the past few weeks. All right, see you guys soon.